Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Yasmin Nadia and welcome back to my channel. So, what's up for this week? For the past, even before COVID lah, I have been planning to do this video. You can see in the title, right? How to drape a sari. So, I've been planning and planning and planning. It didn't happen. So, every time I want to work with someone, you know, things like COVID happen and then everyone got busy. So and then I decided, okay, I should just do it with Amma. So when I wanted to do it with my mom, Amma is a bit camera shy, but that's not the reason why I couldn't do it with her today because she's been busy and she's also not feeling well right now. I thought, okay, this year, by end of February, I should be able to do this video, which is sari draping, how to drape a sari because many of you all have asked me, Aka, where you bought your sari? Aka, where you get your blouse done? Aka, how to drape a sari? So this video is going to be very basic sari draping video. I immediately thought, okay, I should just ask Kevin because I worked with him, always worked with Divin and also Kevin. They both are, of course, my favorite. So I just immediately messaged Kevin and asked him, checked with his schedule whether or not it will clash. He immediately said, okay, Aka, I'll come and do it for you this week. I was so happy. Until today, I was thinking whether or not it will happen. And it happened. So Kevin is here. You know, I'm so happy that he's here and I'm so happy that I'm executing this video finally. So here is how to drape a sari. There's going to be two different videos. One is just normal draping and another one is how to tie a pre-draped sari. If you have any questions or anything that you think I should improve on, just let me know in the comments below. And here's the video for you guys. Okay, so now this is the part that we are going to do the kosuam. Kosuam is the middle pleats that are going to be here. So, starting from the chin level, see straight and see the chin level and determine where is the middle. So, this is the chin and I'm going to follow the straight and I'm going to start pleating it here. If I'm going to wear heels, mm -hmm. are you supposed to wear heels and then yes. tie sari, is it? If you are wearing heels, you have to uh, wear the heels, then only you have to tie the sari. Make sure the heels are there. The heels should be covered, right? Usually. Ah, yes. But not for weddings. Weddings, you need to take out oh. most of the time. How many pins usually? Three. three. Normally, these three pins are very, very important that you cannot remove at all. Wow. So that your sari won't move. And have to turn this one. For this part, since the sari is short, we're gonna not gonna do any pleating here. But I'm just gonna adjust with the pleating here. Okay? Whatever that we have, I'm just gonna use that part. Now, make sure place it in the middle and tuck this part. Make sure this part is clean and tuck it in. in. Okay, now pin this part at the back of the sari and blouse. Pin here so that it, there won't be any pins at the front. So since we're going to let go of the sari, I'm just going to pin the sari over here a bit. And up. So this part, you have to pin it and skirt, uh, pin it together with the skirt. This pin must be at the back, not from the front. Dress Marie. I think with sari, you can make a dress already. Yeah. Right. Now at the end, arrange all the pleats here neatly and make sure everything is even. Then, the sari is done. Make everything even because I'm even. even. <laughs> <laughs> so chanty. So this will stay longer. Uh, if you pin it properly, it will stay longer and it will be sleek. This, let me see. 
So uh, earlier we started with the non-pleated sari. This is a pre-pleated sari. That's how we're going to drape the pre-pleated sari. As I said, we're going to tuck in at the pocket line here and go around and hold it in the middle. Now tuck in the rest. So once you already tuck in the rest, take the pallu here and go around. Go around and put it on the shoulder at the same place that we put earlier. You see this sari is not ironed fully. Pin it together at the end of the on the shoulder. Now pull the inside of the sari and go around. Leave it alone. Pull the inside of the sari and go around and pin as tight as you can, 45 degrees across the navel and pin it. And make sure this is in the middle and tuck this part inside. Sorry, did I next uni must have me? <laughs> Pull this one and pin it inside so that it will be tight. But this all they don't really pin here, but I will pin here. Cut. And make sure this part is clean. So this part is done now. Pull this one and arrange. Make sure to use a proper safety pin, right? Or yeah. Spoilers, huh? Or else the sari will be like, it won't stay at the place. The a safety pin is very, very important when you drape a sari. If it's not proper, later it will be like, it won't be clean and it will tend to. What do you think about, you know, people use the hair straightener to iron saris? Um, hair straightener can be used, but I don't really use because the temperature is very, very important when you handle a sari. Sari is very, uh, it's a very delicate material. You can't really use so much of them. I mean, like too hot. It cannot be too hot when you iron a sari because it tend to spoil the sari. Now we are already done and I'm just gonna arrange this part and this part. If you all notice, she's wearing a crop top and you don't need blouse to drape a sari. You can wear anything together with it and mix and match. This kind of crop top gives a very corporate look also, right? Very professional. professional. You can wear a sari for office with this kind of crop tops. So you don't have to actually wear a blouse and wear a sari. You can mix and match with normal blouses as well, normal crop tops as well. Very nice, huh? Hey everyone, so thank you so much for watching this whole video. Thank you, Kiwen, for... Thank you so much for inviting me. <laughs> thank you for coming. Actually, when I asked him, I thought it will take months for me to get his appointment. But right immediately, he was like, OK, I'll do it for you. And he came today. So thank you so much. He also brought for me some cakes. No, 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 no,
Sari. Since this is my first ever Sari draping video, if you have anything that you think I can improve or I should improve, you can let me know. Probably the angles or video or whatever. But if you have any questions and if you need any tips, keep following us. Uh, keep following <laughs> Kevin on his Instagram. He have a lot of tips and tricks on how to drape a Sari. Also, this is going to be first. There's going to be more of this. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Wanna go? Hey, ciao.